Hello there, I'm in my painting clothes because I've just finished painting a couple of radiators using Johnston's interior wooden metal quick dry satin brilliant white paint. It's the first time I've ever used this paint, used it based on some reviews I read online, previously used Hammerite radiator paint. I will leave a link to this down below. I paid about £7 for this from a company called B&M here in the UK, but I'll leave a link to it on Amazon. So firstly, Hammerite uh, radiator paint. It is an oil-based paint, and the disadvantage of that is it can be a little bit difficult to use if you're used to using emulsion type paints, normal water-based paints. Uh, can You have to work quite quickly otherwise it starts to dry and if you kind of go over areas that you've painted it starts pulling with the paintbrush and it's not a pretty finish at all. Um, also smells really strong and it's oil based so if you get it on anything it's really difficult to get it off again and you really have to use uh, something like white spirit to clean your brushes it takes ages it's just a real pain to use oil based paints but the main thing and the whole reason I kind of looked up water-based paints to paint radiators is because it turns out that gloss paints, because of chromatins in them, they actually go yellow over time, uh, which isn't great, especially if they're not exposed to light. So if you have your curtains shut a lot or you shut your doors and things and rooms are dark, the paint will go noticeably yellow. And really that is one of the big advantages of a water-based radiator paint, it is non-yellowing, so it should stay white. And it's water-based, so you can wash your brushes using water rather than white spirit, so that's less of those toxic fumes, and less of a problem if you get it on stuff. You can hopefully wipe it off with just a damp cloth. But what does this look like on? How easy is it to use? Specifically, this is um, quick dry paint, how does that affect using it? It's satin. Why did I go for satin rather than gloss? Gloss is a little bit old fashioned now. Satin isn't much different. It's just a little bit duller and a little bit more fashionable at the moment. They do lots of different colours in this, but to be honest, that's a little bit too fashionable for me to start painting radiators black and stuff. I just prefer white. So I've got lots of old 70s radiators that have gone quite yellow and hopefully I can paint them using this and freshen them up. So without any further ado, let's actually properly tell you how I got on. First thing to say is being quick dry, this actually is as difficult to use as an oil-based paint. No biggie, I'm not trying to put you off this. After sort of two or three minutes of painting in one area, don't think that you can kind of go back to a previous area and touch it up because it will pull the paint that's already there and it doesn't look good at all. Um, in terms of preparation, you're supposed to key the surface, so lightly sand the surface and use an undercoat if it's a really different color to this. I have to say, because my radiators were just a kind of off-white yellowy color and they were painted quite a while ago and were quite dull, not very glossy, I didn't bother with any of that. I just made sure they were clean and actually the paint adhered to that surface really well. Though it says on the side, by the way, that you can use a roller, uh, you can use a brush. It's, it's dry in one to two hours um, and you can clean it with water, etc. Now it does say something quite interesting on here, which is that it's got some chemical in it, which may produce an allergic reaction in some people. So you shouldn't breathe it in, basically open a window. In fact, I opted to wear, I think it's called a P3 respirator mask and open a window just so I didn't breathe it in. So in terms of kind of, you know, the smell of oil-based paint versus this, you've really kind of got no advantage here. But there is another disadvantage of this actually over regular oil-based paint. And that is it has a real tendency to leave brush marks. Now, I checked out the reviews on Amazon of this product and it one, one in 10 reviews said impossible to get rid of brush marks. I found exactly that actually. So the only advice I've seen somebody say was you should use a really, really soft, maybe horsehair brush or something. And I've just painted this one using a good quality Harris brush. And hopefully you can see that the finish, I mean, you, it's very difficult. It looks worse on the camera than it does in real life. But hopefully you can see the finish is a little bit better. And actually, because this radiator had just yellowed white underneath, I've got away with one coat, which I'm 
especially pleased about. Because you have to work quite quickly, because it's quick dry, you actually paint your radiators very quickly using this paint. And once you take, you know, when you're close up and you're painting, while you can see the brush marks, you think, oh, this is just crap, why did I bother? But as soon as you get a kind of metre back from it, you can't see the brush marks at all, and it actually looks really nice. And to think that it'll actually stay brilliant white is just great, in my opinion. I would buy this, actually, again, if I had to paint a radiator, because the things like Hammerite, you get these tiny little tins that are a lot more expensive. It's a bugger to clean the brushes. You know, ultimately, if it's gonna go yellow, that ain't good, is it? So hopefully, I can't tell you now, because it's only been on for like an hour, but hopefully this will stay white, you know, for a long, long time. Anyway, as I said, I'll leave a link to this down below so you can check it out for yourself if you're interested in painting a radiator. If you've got any questions about this, leave those down below as well. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks to my loyal patrons who are scrolling down the screen now, especially George Foot, Magnanimous Meg, Jennifer Jones and Rob Van Eden, who are extremely generous patrons. See you next time for another video.